Hi guys. Sorry if it's a little bit windy, but I'm actually sat by a new tree today. This isn't the usual tree I sit next to. I was just kind of like walking through fields near my house and I've actually never been to this field. God, what is my life? Crazy, I'm in a new field. Very pretty day today. I've not really done much. I've kind of been chilling at home. <laughs> Same old. Um, it's the last two days before I start second year of uni, which is a crazy statement to say. But yeah, I thought I'd film the last kind of two days while I'm at home. I've been really quite bored. If you've watched my last video, you know, I was, I've been quite bored at home. Um, but now it's actually down to the last two days. I'm a little bit like sad to go. It's a big contrast from last year because I'm definitely more ready to go into second year than I was in the first, obviously. But I'm kind of just waiting around to go if that makes sense like I feel like I'm not really doing anything at home especially because my job is YouTube so it's not like I'm like going to work every day like I'm just filming videos which I could do in uni I feel like I haven't really got much to do at home also all of my friends have now gone to uni they've gone earlier than me so it's just kind of just me um yeah I've taken myself on a little walk like I always do and I am gonna try and like one of my main aims this year is to become more present in the moment and like even though I'm dying to go to uni right now and I, like, I'm so bored at home, I just want to kind of soak up the last two days I have here. Like, when am I ever going to be able to go and sit under a tree in Manchester completely on my own? Like, I won't be able to. So I'm trying to soak up the last kind of moments. It's really weird to me how different this September is from last, which obviously that's how time works. <laughs> September to me feels like kind of like a new New Year's, kind of like a second New Year's, if that makes sense. I feel like everyone's trying to start like new habits and stuff for like the next school year and that's something I'm really like trying to do this year. I'm really like motivated to make the most out of my uni experience while it's here. But yeah, um, I don't know what the plan is for this evening. I got myself a face mask from Tesco's before I drove to Tesco's with my mum. I've got a face mask and some candles. So we're just gonna have a chill one. Yeah, I am really keen to start second year, which is a crazy contrast from last year of just not wanting to leave home. And don't get me wrong, I am definitely, definitely going to miss home and I probably will be back every other weekend like I was last year because as everyone knows, I'm quite a homebody, but I just kind of feel like stuck here and I feel a little bit unmotivated when I'm at home because every day is kind of the same. I'm just ready to start a new chapter of my life in second year and I'm really, really, really excited about it. So excited about my new flat as well. I'm just really like keen to live with Izzy and Will. I think it's gonna be so much fun. Yeah, all positive things ahead. I'm really feeling, but yeah, I'm really feeling positive about the second year of uni. Okay, hi, it's many hours later. Um, I didn't really do much more of a walk after you saw me last. Um, it kind of got cold and I didn't have a coat or a jumper or anything. I'm gonna like unwind for the night now. It's about half nine, 10, I think it's about 10. I'm gonna get into my pajamas, light some candles that I got from Tesco and try and have an early-ish night because my sleep schedule's kind of all over the place at the moment. So I'm trying to get ahead of that before I start uni again. Okay, hi guys. So the next section of the video is actually sponsored by an app which I'm very excited to talk about, um, which is Headspace. If you don't know what Headspace is, it's basically, I describe it as a meditation and also mindfulness app. And the app has loads of different meditations, um, whether that be for like sleep or stress. Um, and there's also um, even like guided walk meditations. So meditations you can listen to while you're on your walk, which I obviously really enjoy. But some of you may know, 
Um, an ongoing struggle for me is sleep, especially when I'm in uni and I'm like away from home. I tend to get into really bad sleep schedules where I'm going to bed at like four in the morning and then waking up at 4 p.m. the next day and then the cycle just continues. So something I really wanted to do before I return back to uni was to get my sleep sorted out and Headspace is actually perfect for that because they have a whole sleep section on their app, which you'll see in the next clips. I actually used one of their meditations before I went to bed. It knocked me out, it really helped. So I've been using them ever since. Yeah, they have a whole sleep section on the app where there's sleep like wind down, sleep music, um, like sleep casts, so like podcasts that you can listen to before you go to sleep. Um, and even just like white noise and like sleep sounds, they're all on the app, which I find really cool. But yeah, I've never been one to really like be into meditation. I've always kind of wanted to start it because my dad meditates a lot and he says it's really good for just like general mindfulness. But I've always kind of thought it was silly and I thought it was never something I could actually get into and concentrate on. But Headspace makes it really easy to meditate. So yeah, if you yourself want to get started or even just want to try Headspace, you can actually use either the QR code, which I'll put on the screen or the link down below and you can get two months free of Headspace. Thanks so much Headspace for sponsoring today's video. Welcome to tonight's wind down. Take a moment to get nice and comfortable wherever you'd like to fall asleep. This is time just for you. Time to rest, let go, and feel supported by this guided practice and the comfort of the space that you're in. So just allow your body to be completely held by the bed, or the surface that you're resting on. Okay, <laughs> I'm done. I'm feeling very tired. That really just like chilled me out. Um, and it was only like six minutes and I just felt really like good and chill. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm now gonna go to sleep. Anyway, thank you again to Headspace for sponsoring today's video. I'm so like tired now. Um, I'm gonna go to sleep. I'll see you in the morning. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> Okay, right, guys, it's the next day. I'm doing this in like low lighting because I look so tragic right now. I need to get ready. My skin is breaking out so much recently, just like in like big spots. Like I used to have, <clears throat> if you've watched my videos for a while, you know I used to like actually really struggle with acne, like bad on my forehead and like on my cheeks and stuff. But recently I've just been getting like big spots and they're making me like want to cry. Every time I get a spot, and I feel insecure about my skin. It just takes me back to being like 16 and like not wanting to leave the house because my acne was so bad and it's like so sad to think about. Anyway, um, I need to get ready. I'm going on a little driving lesson with my mum later. We're gonna go look around the chariot shops. I, if you watched my last video, you saw that I was kind of like putting stuff into boxes and things. Um, I've gotten a lot further with that from the last video, but I've kind of got like a new technique going on. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do that now and then I'm gonna get dressed and ready and sort my face out and then I'm gonna go for a driving lesson. It is raining, so perfect day for a little charity shop and a little driving lesson. Okay, hi guys, <laughs> I'm back from my driving lesson. It was a bit of a fail. I'm having one of those days where like everything seems like it's going wrong, but I'm just kind of being over dramatic about it. So I'm about to go for a walk and take my dog, Mabel, who's waiting here very patiently for me. I'm just having one of those days where like my hair's greasy. <laughs> um, it's hair wash day today and like I just feel I don't even want to like look at myself, like it's one of those days, it's so fucking dramatic whenever I say this, but just being real with you guys, I just feel gross about myself today. But I don't think it helped that all the charity shops were closed. I nearly killed me and my mum, she had to grab the wheel. <laughs> I didn't have a good driving lesson. Um, my hair's greasy. I'm just being really dramatic. Um, so I'm gonna take this little girl on a walk <laughs> and hopefully get a grip and feel a little bit better.
Okay, so my camera's run out of battery, so I'm filming this on my phone now. But <laughs> I'm feeling a lot better now. I'm outside and it's actually such... It doesn't even show on camera how much of a nice evening it is. Ooh, I don't know why I came on this walk with Crocs on. Anyway, it's crazy to me how much my mood can change in a day based on how attractive I feel. Like, it actually makes me quite sad to think about how my mood just went down because I feel a little bit ugly today. Like, that's crazy. <sighs> but this walk has made me feel better. It's actually such a pretty evening mabel's just started rolling in puddles i don't know why she does that but she just likes water any water she sees she likes to roll in but yeah i kind of put into perspective how stupid i was feeling because i don't feel attractive today like that actually makes me upset that i've let that ruin my day but yeah feeling a lot better now i'm gonna walk to the lake which i used to always go to in my videos i haven't been for a while i feel like one thing about me is i like to dramatize the situation because i was feeling i think it all started when my driving lesson went a little bit wrong it just put me in a shit mood and I like to just make everything really dramatic and I was like, I'm not going to pass my test, I'm never going to drive. Oh my god! I will, I will drive one day. I'm just a bit slow to it and it's really hard to... Sorry, my phone ran out of storage, but yeah, it's really hard to be consistent with driving when I'm in uni and I've been in America the past two summers. So I'm a bit slow to the driving game and it makes me really annoyed whenever I get in the car and like, it doesn't go the way I want it to. <laughs> And my test is so soon, so I'm stressed out a bit, but it'll be fine. Yeah, this walk's made me feel a lot more positive and just put things into perspective because I might feel shit about my appearance today, but like, that's not really gonna matter like when I die. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna stop being dramatic and continue on. I'm actually really excited to go and see the lake. I did this walk stupidly in Crocs. Um, but oh well, it's fine. Mabel's got this massive six shoots knocking me out with, oh my God. <laughs> It's just kind of scary. Okay, let's continue on. Okay, I'm back from my walk. I put some comfy clothes on. Um, I'm about to have a shower and basically go to bed. Um, I need to wash my hair badly. <laughs> for that, I just have a few more things to get ready for uni. I'm pretty much packed now. Um, all the boxes are packed. I just need to wash a few clothes. I just need to do a bit of laundry of the final clothes I'm taking. So I'm gonna do that now, then have a really nice long hot shower and go to bed. Guys, I'm out of the shower in my pajamas. Um, made myself a cup of tea and I'm watching Victorious before I go to bed. But that's where I'm going to end today's video. Um, hope you're all having a great day or night, whatever time it is where you are. And I'll see you in the next video, which will be a uni video because I go back to uni in like a day. So, yeah, hope you've enjoyed. See you in my next video. Bye.